Yo, BJ Gador here. Wow, post-workout report for the workout of the week, the WOW Metabolic Mayhem 4.0 of the fourth workout of the week or fourth WOW of October. It's our last one. We got an active recovery week next week, so we will push hard and we will go heavy in this final week. The Metabolic Messiah just got quartered. So uh, gonna give you kind of what to expect in this workout. We're live Wednesday. 10 a.m. PST on your big screen, youtube.com slash BJ Gador. Subscribe to the channel. And uh, my daily BJ.com members, they learned it yesterday and they just practiced it today for the big performance on Wednesday. I just did it myself, my wife did as well. I'm gonna go through the loads and then what to expect. On the shin box positioning, all right, we spend the first part of that workout, mobility training in the shin box, winding up the hips into internal external rotation, putting them in extreme joint angles, mobilizing, strengthening, activating. Sets the entire foundation for a stable, neutral pelvic position, which is the foundation for all proper movements. Squatting, pressing, lunging, all that good stuff. We're also really working shoulder mobility. All right, as we get that pelvis more neutral, you're less likely to hike a shoulder up. We're also being able to kind of press and get our arm overhead with support or without it while maintaining the scap down and back. So working the mid-low trap a lot. This is incredible for shoulder and hip health, a lie detector for your body. Keep working it with your body weight on the off days using the tempo and other cool protocols we use in the previous weeks of this October programming. One thing I wanna talk about on the shin box to lunge, shin box to stand. You've got a new stressor from a breathing standpoint. You want to inhale on the descent, you wanna exhale on the ascent. All right, as we're contracting the muscles, you want to exhale to power it through. As we stretch and lengthen the muscles, you want to inhale to load back up. That's the foundation. But when things become multifaceted or extended in terms of one rep takes a longer time than a normal rep would, now we have to slow down the inhale, exhale subsequently. So what we're going to do here, let me show as an example. I'd be loading the dumbbell herb. I'm going to show body weight. So I'm locked in. Before I even start, inhale through the nose into the belly and hips. Now, smoothly. You see, I just smoothly exhale all the way through. Now this is the harder part, especially through the nose. It's a smaller, small orify. All right, so you gotta really slow and lengthen, pull into the nose. I'm gonna reach the top of that leg, so I can hold the weight here. Now if you run out there, you can pause for a second holding the breath as you trace back that shape and then inhale the rest of the way down, or maybe get one smooth inhale all the way through. Okay, so that's the challenge. Now that, that's not gonna be something you can get quickly the first time you do one of these workouts or uh, really it, it will take practice with your body weight. Again, that's what you do in off days. So take your time with that, practice the breathing, lock that in. This, this feels so good. And uh, I used a 25 for the one arm loaded stuff and I used a 50 for the goblet. So basically we did a goblet squat but in a shin box position. So man, you just, you get such, you get complete hip activation and stability. And then when I did my goblet squats later in the workout, Naomi gonna test it in the spot where she won the 50 pound goblet squat today. <laughs> oh yeah, great. No, it's major, major gains. Um, the squats have never felt better. It's like butter. Part two, we go into heavy dumbbell dynamite. And what, here's what happens when you go heavy and kind of a Metcon total body circuit. You get heavy afterburn. I'm toast, we only did one round of it, it took 15 minutes, it's two rounds on Wednesday, so again, I wanna, I already felt the training effect from one round, I don't wanna overwhelm my system. Wednesday, we'll go two fold together, we'll push each other on that and finish it off. But I went with 100 on nearly all of the multi-joint movements, um, I went with a 50 on the shin box presses and the lateral hinges. I also decided to go with a 50 on the one arm bent over rows because I really wanted to get a fast, rhythmic, pulsing motion to really emphasize up and back. I'm doing the pull-up program with many of you at dailybj.com, so I didn't really feel the need to go heavy on the row, and I wanted to get more activation and less risk of going too heavy and, and making it, uh, I just don't, I don't like going too heavy on rows personally, okay? But I did go heavy on the cleans. So I, I went with the cleans, I went with 100, I went with 100 on the floor presses, I went with 100 on the suitcase carries, I went with 100 on the uh, split squats, the one arm split squat, that was tough. God, the obliques. When you load, I mean, here's what I'm telling you, man. You can do those stupid broomstick twists, you can do side crunches. You can do all that stupid shit. You can do hula hoops. But when you hold a heavy weight in one hand and you ask your body to stabilize the spine by walking, split squatting, whatever it may be, pressing, that's core. That is hardcore training. 
Okay? That's the stuff that makes you change. In the middle. Now, if you got fat covering that, <laughs> metabolic massage can't do miracle, baby. Come on. So we gotta work on your nutrition and we gotta work on your overall activity level. But you wanna get a solid midsection, you gotta hold heavy weight in one arm or one side at a time. It's a game changer. And that workout was incredible. Then we went into our part three band make them dance. All right. And I went with a black for the punches and the pull aparts and a purple for everything else. 20 on 10 off, eight move upper body blaster. That's 20 on 10 off, four straight minutes resting in it. And then what we did, bring your low box and step Wednesday as well. I just felt the urge to go back to our one leg low box jumps. Uh, so what we did is 20 on 10 off left, 20 on 10 off right, four straight minutes to finish it off. Last workout of this month. It's our final four week block of the 2020 season. Okay? So we're going now into next month. That's the semifinals. November. Finals. December to remember all fucking month. I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna bring the best I have with you. The final, final two months of this year, I am gonna reward the people that have stuck with us the whole year in the most trying of times. You sick piece of shit. I love you. How'd you do it? How'd you make it this far? I'd like to take all the credit. I really would. Sometimes I just I say, I'll take 99.9% .9 of it. No, but that's really what you should take because man, I'm just sharing this stuff with you. You gotta do it on your own. You still gotta press play and you gotta get started. Let's celebrate the final two months of the year together. Let's have a great finisher here. Make your post-workout report to thedailybj.com. I have a podcast coming on some things. And make sure if you did, you're doing a pull-up program, report how you did after week one. Don't panic if on the final set of the final day, the fifth and final set of the fifth and final day of the week, you did your max rep with one or two reps in the tank left, and it wasn't as high as the number that you did to start the program. Well, I wouldn't expect it to be. You did 24 sets previously this week before you even tried that. Okay, a single set in isolation doesn't determine, uh, I mean, that, that's one type of, uh, of ability. How many reps you can get on your 25th set of the week? All right, so that's how I want you to approach this. Don't panic. This is what I see a lot that happens with people, man. They fucking panic. They've got a plan. It's perfectly built. It just needs execution. It needs confidence. You got to believe in the plan. Why would you think that it'll go exactly the same for you as it would someone else? Now, the end result, we hope to be pretty close. We're all gonna get our reps up. We're all gonna get to a new level of pull-ups. Maybe do our first step. Maybe finally get 15 plus, okay? But don't panic. Take your two days of rest. Do your hangs, your scap, pull-ups. Recover, massage the key areas that you need to work on, your biceps, rear delts, upper mid back areas that are getting now more work. We gotta stay on top of the mobility and recovery piece. The recovery piece is where the growth happens. Don't lose that in the process. And uh, don't panic. Stay the course. Have a great week too, and let's finish off week four of October strong. Love you guys, peace. Get some gang, 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 get some gang. Get some gains! <sighs> Halloween edition. I need beast mode today. It's gonna be a tough, grueling workout. We start with about 15 to 20 minutes of mobility training. I have a 25 pound dumbbell and a 50 pound dumbbell ready to go. I need a light, heavy option. Get into our shin box positions, trying to open it up, activate the hips, set the joints for a really tough workout to come. Naomi's still fucking with the uh, camera. Looking good though. Oh, hi. Chris okay. Warren looking fantastic. We got to show some, I took some intimate photos of him. Uh, <laughs> you guys might enjoy. We're going to go left arm, light dumbbell. Very intimate. Get your shin box position set. And I am dressed as Superman. And I am generic cat person. Cat, cat, cat woman do. Yeah. Okay, here we go. We're gonna start with presses. <sighs> Exhale up, inhale down. 30 seconds, three positions, 90 seconds total. <sighs> it's too hard, go hammer grip. A little more challenging mobility wise. Okay. 
Okay, now we're doing the squat version, right? So just load it here. Exhale up. Inhale down. Stay tall. Oh, yeah. Woo! Your squats will never feel smoother after starting with these babies and getting good at them. It's a squat without anything below the knee. Oh, so now we go press it, so press it. Oof, shoulders are already gone. That's not good. Square off. Switch it out. Wow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch it here. Make sure I don't miss. Uh, yeah, I'm waking up into this just like you, okay? So get off my ass about it. <laughs> Let's go. made of like stone there we go Ugh. all right right side sharp size a little tight today <sighs> inhale down exhale up <sighs> you gotta post up this arm you can just post it a little bit Squat. Oh. My cape is causing problems. Oh, yeah. Get some, baby. Come on, let's go. Get better today. You got to challenge your mobility like you challenge everything else in your fitness. Low intensity stretching just won't cut it. You gotta challenge those muscles. Now press it through on a thruster. Ooh, this shoulder is more tired than the other one for some reason. Oh no. Oh. Ooh. No. No. Ooh, wow. Right. Pull that one of my bajin. Okay, get it set up. Hip house trap, 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 trap. Left leg is gonna be uh, yeah, goblet. Okay, <laughs> get off my ass. tree. We're gonna start at the top. Okay, I want you to pull it to the goblet position. Kind of sit into it a bit. Load up. Inhale down. Exhale up. those elbows into the ribs yeah thank you c-dubs chris dubs c-dubs chris warren looking like he hangs out at neptune's on pch <laughs> <laughs> Which I hear is a great place for the... Just a casual knife ca fight. The exceptional murder. <laughs> I, I kid not. <sighs> is it? I, I've never been. Never been. I just don't want... I, it's really the murders that turned me off. <laughs> <sighs> oh, God. Wow. I'm just so moist. Yeah, you went a little overboard with the heat this morning. Should we turn off the heat? Yeah, I did. Okay. Oh, I good. It was on fire. Oh, these 38 year old bones get cold. I almost didn't get out of bed today. It was 45. <laughs> People in Wisconsin and Minnesota are like, fuck this 
I know, that's like early spring, get your shorts out weather. So relative. We're in a sweatshirt. Oh, God damn. <laughs> I'm feeling like it's a sow like belly pig this morning. Cape is like no, it's not it allowed any ventilation cape. from the backside. It's not a performance cape. No. In <laughs> fact, you think shit. about capes, they're highly impractical. Why do superheroes wear them? How's my super curl? Very, it's very lush. It's hard to tell on very, camera. Uh, it looks like it's bouncy and, and moist. All right, guys, shut the fuck up and load the <laughs> Here we go. Oh, it's closer from the top. Don't, everyone, Tight don't side. do what I'm doing. <sighs> oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Just focus on your breathing now. Make it meditative. <sighs> Trying to open up my, my trail side. My right side is trailing now. That's the tight one. So I'm just trying to relax into it and turn on the muscles all around, inside, outside, the hip. Sit tall. Oh, yeah. On the Jubilee. Oh, God damn. 45 left? Shit. Oh, God. Oh, that was deep in the butt. Oh. Oh, so much focus. Oh. Plenty. Jesus. Oh my There's god. So many of these fucking shin boxes. Left arm shin box. Oh god. Please <laughs> get out of my way, thank you. Eat me out. <laughs> oh god. Okay, now we gotta do a another Wow shin man. Box. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what's happening to my body right now, but holy shit. I'm telling you. So synthetic. Is this cape? Can't be interesting. Okay, I'm gonna smoothly exhale oh, through to that. Right here, take a deep inhale, exhale. Set your position. Now try to slowly inhale smoothly back down. Relax, take your time, this is a flow. Even kind of drive that knee, get that hip flexor engaged, squeeze that back butt. Oh. Oh. Kind of sweep it through. Shoulders, just toes, man. Wake it up. Yeah, maybe long-term body shock I'm suffering from. Oh wow! And I just know I know what's coming too. It just we're really, we're frankly just getting started. Help me! Someone kill me! Naomi's super quiet over there. She knows too. Step it through. Deep inhale, exhale. I gotta make sure I put in the show notes. Please do not wear that cape. Careful with capes. Spooky music. 
royalty free. <sighs> we, had a, we had a Halloween playlist I was bumping before we started. Not royalty free. <sighs> But we had some Metallica, we had some Jimi Hendrix, we had some Michael Jackson. <sighs> yes. And Halloween classic, Tubular Bells. Okay. Yes, we did. Oh, wow, whoa. My, my cape is catching some wind. <laughs> New form of resistance. <sighs> Slowly inhale it back down. Exhale it smooth up. That's really the most challenging part here is you've got to, there's multiple steps. So instead of one step, so you got to take that inhale, exhale, and you got to double the length of it and make it smooth. It's tough, especially on the inhale through the nose. We're going to switch sides. You okay over there? Yeah, I'm fine. You have an obsession with cats. Remember the first Halloween costume I saw you when you were a cat? Really? No, it's just, it's not that obsession. It's just like it's the perfect costume to make when you didn't plan on a costume. I should have known. You stalk. <laughs> it's like, oh, I can use uh, eyeliner. Now we're going to, to uh, okay, that's plenty. Stand all the way through, okay? Slow inhale down. Reach the top of the foot. Now I kind of broke up my inhales there, you can do that too. Three slow inhales, a little bit of a break, or make it smooth all the way through. Now let's smooth exhale all the way to the top. Nice and smooth, baby. Smooth. Everything's so warm. Side. Wow. I know I said last week, last time I'll come in off week, I said I'm not even gonna poop. And I didn't poop for a week. I'm not even gonna pee this time. <laughs> I'm gonna just I'm not doing anything next week. Besides the pull-ups. <laughs> Besides 25 sets of pull-ups. Grab a pair of the pen. And daily mobility and breathing, meditation. Depends. Do you have any? No. That depends. <laughs> Here we go. Let's do it. Smooth up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Turn me out. Lick my ass. Naomi, are you okay? You stuck in a stand? How can I possibly answer you when I'm breathing in? According to your instructions. No, I just I suck at breathing, so I just focus. Before our Monday workout, how pleasant it was. Naomi, wearing her big pocket clothing. But no, it was a problem. Man, just allow me to pocket. finish a story. But you're saying it wrong. Her phone fell from her pocket into a dirty bucket of mop water. And she had found it 30 minutes afterwards. She had been looking for her phone. Where is it? It's just like of all the square footage that we have, it fell in that one tiny, one square foot. Where all the places it could have fallen. It didn't even make a poop sound. Surprising as she wears big, big pocket clothing all the time and her phone is constantly falling out. But I guess she thought it wouldn't happen when she walked by a bucket of mop water. So she was pissed. 
And I'm like, we gotta do this goddamn workout. <laughs> Hilarity ensued. You can fill in the gaps. Take a two minute rest, see you, bye. Yo, BJ Ghidorah, creator of Sleeves Sold Separately, and we have just launched the exotic Lunge Man Workout and Swim Short Collection in three exotic colors. Lightning Lemon, Nuclear Orange, and of course, Leopard King. The only requirement to wear these shorts is simple. You must be sexually active in your community. And, you know, Naomi films all of our content besides the live workout, so this is why this is the one time things are good. Um, and she just told me, uh, yeah, no, when I film you, I, I'm not paying attention at all. I'm thinking about other things. And I'm like, oh, this is good. This is good. Now I'm pissed. So, Naomi, load up. You're going to go heavy. Give me my 25. Wait, I'm loading up, right? Take it. Tw take it. It's not my job. Get, get ready. Here we go. Presses. That's what it's not my job. Oh man. 50 pounder, here we go. Now we work. 30 on, 30 off. Heavy. Now we go beast mode. That's what this is. Strength under fire. Felt that one deep in the ass pussy. All right, right side, switching sides. I'm going 50 and 100 for all these moves. Pushing myself on the loading side. I want to get at least five. Oh shit, that comes away. And I'm going uh, 25 and 50 on the squat. You can use a little posting or that trail hand if you need to. Sit into that, sit tall. Tight side is harder to press on. That's why we got to work these imbalances. But as that right side opens up, this right arm sets itself. Daina no. Oh, Daina no. Now, Naomi's going to go to the hand to make it easier. I'm going to the forearm to make it more challenging. Three reps in 30 seconds. Then we'll get rid of the mat. I'm using that mat just to protect me knees. All right, baby. Here we go. I'm going for him. Sit the hips back into the side. Inhale down. Gather. Exhale, smooth up. Yeah. Put yourself down. You gotta have some like serious shoulder hip. I mean, this is crazy, man. Other side? I'm gonna really give you my, as they say in the game, ass pussy. Happy Halloween. Uh, very important time for the country. Halloween. As you know, there's a, a super important day coming up in the USA. 
Halloween. Halloween. <laughs> yes. They call it the day of days. Heavy sets, baby. Oh, got him. <laughs> the predator is out. You better believe it. Oh, shit. What have you... Oh, well, I guess we have to stop. Okay, thank God. Watch out, watch out. Oh, heavy suits. Heavy suits. Away. Okay, I'm gonna lift it and I'm gonna hold one arm. And I'm gonna try to balance. Here we go. Keep it away from the thigh, activate the rear delt. Shallow breathing. Heavy as fuck. Obliques. Oh, my fingers. They're not like this today. Hook it, hook the bell. Don't over grip. Hook it. Take that index finger, secure the thumb. I'm sorry, the thumb. Whatever the fuck you do, do it. Just Whatever do something. Woo! Other side. These little fingies, they can't. They have issues, okay? I guess you're not a cat after all. Known for their grip. Not Are this they? Cat. I mean, they've. I guess they have. They climb trees. Well, but they have claws, okay? Hey, it's part of they the grip. Posable. It's your choice to cut your nails. Okay, here we go. Other side. Stay tall. Chest up. Let's go, baby. Focus in. Focus in. This hundo is no fundo, but we're gonna make my body rotundo. Wave my finger like Ooh. a bimbe mutumbo. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. These are really hard. I'm trying to get five if I can. Wow, man. It's just, it's like you're on a different planet with heavy gravitational forces. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's crushing you into the earth. That would really suck, by the Feel way. Feel position. Oh, God. Heavy planet. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Plan for your next birth. Uh, Elon what? Musk is in charge. Here we go. I don't know what you're I'm going to take you to a planet. Oh, oh God. Oh, Here yeah, we go. Do what he did. Exhale up. <laughs> Inhale down. Exhale up. <laughs> Come on. go heavy often, like super heavy often, but I have no one to pepper it in. Other side. How are we doing? You want, what do you want, 25? Yeah. You could do 30. I could, but I don't have a 30. Yeah, true. So. So you could have made a 30 with the power block. Okay. <laughs> Come on, baby, don't make up my shoes. Let's go, right side. Oh God, that was really rough. Drive that upper back hard into the floor, that foot too, that right foot, bent foot. Ooh. Let's go. Uh, yes. I'm gonna go with the 50. Right I, I wanna pulse that motherfucker. Thank you. I don't like going heavy on rows, I don't. I have to go heavy on pull-ups, carries, hinges, you know, 
I just don't think rows are a good movement for it. Some might disagree. I think you lose that, that mind muscle and things just get ugly. So I'm here, I'm going from 90 to a slight bend. I wanna keep constant tension. Inhale down, exhale up. Just thinking rear delt, mid, upper back. Low lat in particular. Pull it low to the hip, get that low lat. Chest up. <laughs> Baby, please excuse my wow. hands. Please. Let me feel the weight of them. Those Halloween titties shine extra bright. We're going right side here. Chris Warren's like, God damn it. Please stop. It's making me uncomfortable. <laughs> Here we go. Pulse it. I also like going heavy on cleans, which we're doing soon. Hundo rotundo. It's gonna work your ass. Particularly the, you know, when you spread the cheeks and the, the whole hole looks like it's stretched. That's what you're gonna feel right now. We're gonna stretch those insides. You gotta get it to the side. You gotta hold it like a suitcase carry, but now we're split squatting. Here we go. Left arm, left leg. Exhale up, inhale down. This grip also works the inner thigh and low quad more. Adductors. Oh my God. Right side. Now I'm going to show you how I. Once it pulled me this way, I gotta keep it in. Wow, big challenge. Hardcore training. It's heavy one sided work. Chest up. Ah. Ooh. Okay. Naomi's gonna hang. Clean. <laughs> I'm gonna hang clean. I'm gonna clean. power clean. Yeah. I'm gonna use two arms to assist down. Sorry, I'm fucked. Swiping oh, my fucking ass. <sighs> Inhale it down. Ah. <sighs> God. Oops. Looking for about five reps to really challenge. Heavy as you fucking can. That's a heavy 30. 
Five and 30 is a heavy ass 30, maybe six. Inhale before the exhale. Fill the belly with air. Oof. Leg press the floor. Oof. Oh no. Bring me that pity. Oh, never mind. So you were holding it. Last set. No forcing around. Oh my Brought god, the most gross thing just happened. One of your sweat droplets dropped on the back of my shirt and rolled down my back. <laughs> Those are su that's super sweat. Here we go. <laughs> is that what your superpower is? Oh, the hardest part is getting this sucker up. <laughs> yeah. Three minutes, round two. Hi, uh, it's Naomi, AKA Nina G. Jones, AKA Sin Knightley. I have so many aliases, I feel like a CIA agent or something. Um, but I just wanted to give you a little preview of my new book, The Smile and Other Stories. If you listen to the podcast, you've heard The Smile. Um, and so what I'm just gonna do is read a excerpt that's a few minutes long. Um, so I guess here we go. And this is from The Smile, the story, one of the five stories in this book. Stand over there, the man directed to Brett, or whatever his name was. He flashed at me, you, over there. One of my shoes was missing and I could only afford a pointless second to search for it before he insisted again that I move. Listen, why don't we just save you the trouble and... The man whipped Brett over the head with a large object and he collapsed to the ground. I screamed instinctively. This didn't make sense. Police shouldn't just attack like that. I stepped away from the scene as the man stood over a dazed Brett and collected the item he dropped. The beam of the flashlight grazed the object so I could see it was a gun. I glanced around in the dark, trying to make sense of it all. As my eyes adjusted, I got a slightly better view of the man. He was wearing a khaki uniform, I thought, but his face was still shrouded in shadows. Like Brett, he was about six feet tall with an athletic build. If he decided to turn his violence against me, I would be just as hopeless as I was in the back seat of that car. I spun around to look for a police car, flashing lights, anything to indicate this man was an officer of the law. But I knew what my gut had been telling me, and I had been ignoring it in the hope of some relief from the unrelenting terror of the night. This man was not law enforcement. The man stood up over Brett, who was moaning and writhing and trained his gaze on me. No longer willing to ignore my instincts and with the decisiveness in which both men had committed vicious acts of violence that night, I ran. I ran into that terrifying black forest as fast as I could. I didn't look back. There wasn't any hesitation as thorns scraped against my flesh, branches ripped away at my dress and twigs embedded into my one exposed foot. At some point, I lost my other shoe and that foot was also torn apart by nature. I would not die tonight. I couldn't hear the mysterious man chasing me. My heavy breathing and pulse pounding against my skull made that an impossibility. So I would run until my body quit. When my legs finally gave, I collapsed beneath a, a large tree, making myself small as I gasped for air as discreetly as I could. I listened intently for the sound of footsteps in the dark, hoping for silence. I prayed, something I hadn't done since I was a little girl. My obstacles felt insurmountable. Aside from a possible psycho on the loose, I was hopelessly lost in an unfamiliar forest. The temperature was dropping. It was going to be a long time before I was safe and secure. After a while, I rested my...
Press in, left arm, one more time through. That was the tightest Live part. TV, boy! You have to work a little bit into the rest in this first one you can to get the total. Oh. You might be five or ten, ten seconds behind, so just pay attention to that. Catch us, catch up to us. Mama mia. Uh, yeah. Here I go again. Whew. Oh, this is kind of emotional. One more time through, baby. This is, this is the tough part. Can we repeat it? Can you repeat that strong effort? We'll find out. Do the best you can to match your performance. So you can escalate it even better. Remember again, if you need to post, you can post with that trail arm. Inhale down, exhale up. Pull it low to the belly. <sighs> Lateral hinges, baby. Come on, let's go. Let's finish together. Let's close this shit out. It's been a great fucking month of training. Let's close it out. Each one's your last in this circuit. I'm gonna try to drag you. Oh god. And heal down. One more. Let's go. Right here. Focus on your breathing. One move at a time. I need you to narrow your fucking focus. Zoom in. Right now. Here we go. Right, right. Uno más. You might be traveling for a while, but you will be able to carry a heavy suitcase. <laughs> that I can guarantee. Come okay. on, sweet, sweet breast, let's go. Oh no, it's over here. Okay. Naomi's going 50. Well, there was not a choice you could I know, I like it. Don't talk back. <laughs> Take a compliment. Here we go. <sighs> Shallow breathing. Keep the bell away from your thigh and your hip. Oh, shit. Focus. That music is exactly Focus. Right. Focus. I know. I know. <laughs> What's the other choice? Get weaker? Come on. Pony up. Ooh, that creepy. Uncle Baby's got you today, baby. Music box music. Ooh. Ooh. Right side. Let's go, baby. Sumo deadlift it up. Inhale. Ooh. Oh, 
good. Just I'll stop here. Things up on me. But I can do a little bit of a zip. Oh. Those nipples weren't hard. They are now. Oh, fuck. Why do you have to be so gross? Because, man. <laughs> it's hard to keep talking for an hour. Give me some fucking break, especially when you're not even contributing. Come on, I'm wife. Not contributing. Come on, wife. I'm sorry, I'm busy. Oh, shit. It's embarrassing. The whole family got embarrassed then. All right, I need you out of my way. Have you floor presses? Okay. You gotta get that chest up. You gotta, on the down, keep that upper back active, okay? Give yourself a platform to press off of. That's how you get strong on presses. One more. Ah. Ah, you punk ass slut. Hopefully the trick-or-treaters start coming around right about now. I got some athletic greens ready to go. Mommy, mommy, you gave me green star, the I, big man. I would hate your guts. See, that's like worse than giving raisins out. Eat your greens, kid. Eat your greens. I started just throwing broccoli sauce in their bed. But I'm also going to hook them up with the affiliate link, too. <laughs> <laughs> It's tough because it's offline. There's no direct link, but I got it, some pamphlets it's ready to go. probably like 26 numbers long or something. I'm, yeah, it is. As they often are. It's like, listen, kid, you got to put it exactly as is. <laughs> I don't want anyone else getting credit for myself. Oof. Oof. Strength! Under fire! Come on! Ah, you bitch. Come on, one more. <laughs> Fuck you, Hundo. There are adults that weigh as much as that dumbbell. It's like a compressed small adult. Fuck you, Hundo. You don't mean anything to me. Rosers, oh. Ooh. And I also talked to the kids about the benefits of plant protein powder overweight. It's one of those long, you know, you might not appreciate it now, but later you'll be like, yeah. That big freak told me one time. <laughs> that guy that's always screaming on Wednesday morning. He seems to have a genuine condition with it, what he calls the ass pussy. Oh. Oh shit. I, I told Chris Warren before we started, and I meant it in the nicest way. No one knows how to rage like white people. I say it as a half white. There's an intensity. Holy shit. Kill me! Let's finish this. Okay, here we go. Ah. I drink Satan's blood. <laughs> Men's rules do not defy me. Oh, God. I always get confused between this and this. This is like surfers, I think. Yeah. And then the devil horn. I'm gonna go to like a, a heavy metal concert and be like, and everyone's gonna be like a loser. <laughs> okay. <sighs> 
Turn that trail shoulder towards the lead leg. That's the key. Lock in towards the, rotate in towards the lead leg. Oh, is this Halloween trap? Yep. That called Terra Trap. <laughs> this might be the beat of the, the playlist of the year. It's good shit. Shit. Fuck. Right arm, right leg. You don't have to look at me, it's on the screen. She's like, what's next? I wasn't looking at you, don't flatter yourself. I'm a low intelligence cat. Rotate right towards the right. Chest up. Come on. Now I'm gonna go half the way with a 50 and do hang snatches. Naomi, stay hand cleans. Three more, then we get a three minute. Shit. Hips, baby. Straight up the body. Oh, wow. Heavy dumbbell dynamite. Sorry, that's a clean and press. We're going snatch. Wait, give me that. Oh, why would you take it farther away? Oh, sorry. I don't know if I, I get that video. It's in my chest. It's in my chest. Okay. Oh man. That's on my chest. Bad news for me. That's on my chest. Some belly. I got a S on my chest. Come on. favorite famous anus, and here at Sleeve Sold Separately, we know one truth. Every inch counts. Every inch counts. That's why we're very horny to announce the launch of our Lunge Man Long Shorts. It's literally the exact same design as our best-selling short shorts with an added two inches of length and strength for more conservative situations. For many of you, it's become crystal clear. It's exactly 
the two inches you needed. Every inch counts. And all of our bottoms pair perfectly with our tops. Go to sleevesoldseparately.com for the male enhancement you need when you don't want to be a tease. Bands make them dance. Bands make them dance. I got a black, Naomi's got a red. We're going punches, one, twos. I'm going power on this. Pivot the feet, rotate the hips. How strong do you feel after those hundos? That's the benefit of strength. It makes you so much more powerful. Other side. Try. You gotta go explosive on the up on these. Really explode up. Oh. 
Okay. Uh, my poor leopard spots are just melting off the side of my face. I love it. Oh. Uh. Push apart. Barely enough time. Explode up. Push up to finish. Come on. Pin it quick. Pin it. Get your low box ready. Get your low, low box ready. Get your popcorn ready. Left leg, 20 on 10 off. Right leg, 20 on 10 off. Four straight minutes to finish. This phase, I taught you about the importance of exercise order. We use many of the same movements all four weeks, but you had four uniquely different workouts. Collectively, an eclectic, electric, erotic, exotic, and her training experience. Six E's. You can step down on these if you have to. You can jump up one, step down, reset. All right? Listen to your body. I don't want anybody popping an Achilles. Okay, here we go. Going forwards. My bad leg, and I've got a lot more balance than I did for week one. What happens when you keep working the same movement? You actually get better at it. You guys are changing your goddamn movements too much. It's good to shock the body. You don't want to, don't want to constantly confuse it. I want your body to learn. Excuse me, muscle confusion. Yeah. Kickstand assistance, okay? Stability is shot. <sighs> left, left. Change the stimulus. Same move, little tweak. Milk every movement for what you have. In your milk. Ah, this is what I call plyo stability. The fatigue comes in, so it slows you down a bit, but we're still trying to create explosive contraction. It's a beautiful vibe. Right, right. Load, sink into it. Left, right.
Whew. Right, left. We're almost there, you sexy little slanch. No music? <laughs> right, left. Whatever you saw. I like slanch. <sighs> Exhale up. Take that low box. We're going runners. Tight, quick. Opposite arm leg. Lateral runners to finish. I'm glad I have the box that basically has a serrated platform. I know it's for my bare feet. It's meant to cut your toes. So yeah. Okay. October, eat me out. You thought you could take me? You thought you could break me down? Not gonna happen. Nothing. Nothing besides extremely difficult and challenging circumstances could stop the metabolic messiah. <laughs> Give me a second here to reflect on October. Four metabolic mayhems. Week one, eased you into the concept of kind of 30 on, 30 off, going a little heavier, okay? Getting that body ready for what's come week four, which was heavy as fuck. But total body circuit. And then we move into playing with, instead of circuiting, and altering between different non-competitive movements, going from upper to lower, or left to right leg, or left to right side, or push to pull or bicep to tricep or chest to back where we're just moving around systemically causes a peripheral circulation heart circulation throughout the body metabolic cardio response that's what's maximized with that but then when we start to stack competitive movements together we go from creating a total body systemic metabolic conditioning shred effect to a local muscular gains effect all right, and you saw what happened when you put those moves together and how it changed the way you loaded. It changed the way things feel. And then what we did after doing kind of classic bodybuilding stacks in week two and week three, I said, I'm gonna create a stack. I'm gonna create eight stacks within a total body circuit. And you felt what that was like. Basically trapping blood in one area for twice as long as you had the week before, but then calling on the body to send all that blood out to somewhere else. That increases the work of the heart, your heart rate response more than it would otherwise, and you felt it. Week four, beyond the fact we've been building on the shin box all month, the last couple months, you're now doing moves in the shin box position with weights that some people use when they sit down, when they stand, when they're, when they're using machines in some cases. That tells you your body has achieved a level of stability that people can only dream about. And I'll tell you this, Stability is the key to longevity. If you're not stable, you cannot create the max amount of strength and power or endurance off of that. It's all about stability. That's why we train it now. And we take it serious and put it first in the workout. If you're not taking it seriously on your off days, you're not going to get where you want to go. You're going to open yourself up to injury. The best ability is availability. I've been trying to teach this to you. Okay? It gets very difficult to get injured and come back from it as you get older. That's actually the thing people notice the most. They can't recover from injuries like they once could. So we can't get hurt unless something terrible happens, okay? But that's on you, it's not my fault. Um, 
and they're heavy as fuck. And again, like I said, people that talk shit about circuit training, they've never done it right. They've never done it even right with uh, lower to moderate weight, but they've never tried doing it heavy. Congratulations, you can lift something heavy, but can you do it under metabolic stress? That's when you make it a total fitness situation. So great fucking work. Last four week block of the year is done. Naomi, she was so excited for this work, I actually had to calm her down before we started. I, was, I wasn't as down about it as I usually am. Yeah, that's true. It might have been the Halloween music. Well, I also like strength up. She likes to go heavier for a lower rest. Honestly, that's where I thrive. I hate the burn. See what I'm saying? Like, I did have a foundation in strength, okay? So again, once you've developed a, base, a, a certain amount of strength, you're strong enough. I can always tap back into it as long as I'm using, if I'm, if I'm staying below it consistently enough, I can always rise to the challenge, all right? But I told this, and I sent out a newsletter. If you're not on our newsletter, go to bjgador.com, sign up for the newsletter. I communicate regularly. I share. I, I talk to you, okay? I talk to you in writing, the way, that, the way they used to do it. And you just see words, and I think I'm connecting people with, with words now when it comes to this stuff to empower you in a way I could not have done previously. So I encourage you to join the newsletter. But you've got to increase your average training loads. If you've used 25-pound dumbbells for your circuits for the last five years, you're not going to see a whole lot of changes in, in your body. You've got to increase the load gradually over time. All right? Um, we are off next week. I want you to keep working that shin box. Keep working the eight-week pull-up program. I've got some podcasts coming. I just did one, by the way, the easiest way to get better at pull-ups, the weekly BJ podcast, Spotify, iTunes, whatever it is. Uh, it's, it's a good one. I think it's a good way to look at kind of what I talked about today too is the, the real mistake people make in their training is they call it exercise ADD. You can call it what you want. People do not have stick to They panic. They see other people's plans. They try to make their own plan from the plan they started with and other people's plans and they end up with five turds. You still got to pick them up and throw them away. There isn't always the benefit in quantity. You got to pick up that poop. Okay? The turds I take, they're all encompassing. I don't break them up into five. Okay? It's one giant turd. It's just a giant cyst. Okay, anyway. Oh. No, that's not true. Oh, God. That's it all horrific. depends on what I eat. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm pretty regular. That is but, so gross. But um, they can't stick with the movement. And this, so what I, what I did this month is, because a lot of you are like, oh, a new movement. I can't wait. Um, God, sometimes I, just wanna, sometimes I just wanna slap you guys around. But uh, it's, it's a virtual training, so what can I do? Technology isn't there yet. But uh, <laughs> I do hope hologram, hologram's looking good. If I can come to people's homes and then <laughs> poop on their floor and then leave to, you know, to, to discipline people. Um, like an obstinate dog? Yes, exactly. Also, have you been like following hologram technology? You're like, it's looking pretty good lately, hologram well, technology. Well, I was intrigued when I saw what they did with Tupac, and then I saw <laughs> yeah. it in the bubble, NBA bubble. Do you see they were doing interviews with, with hologram? They had the athletes in like a dark room, and then like Stephen A. Smith like came in in a hologram, and it was amazing. It was actually really cool tech, and the players were like, wow, that's actually really cool. The tech, I'm, I'm serious. I'm, I'm bullshitting you. Check it out. The tech is getting better. So can you imagine like if the, the dailybeacher.com came with my hologram? And like I come to remind you to do your fifth pull-up set today. We'll see what can happen. Um, I knew Especially I was. You don't want to, from personal experience, you don't want a BJ following you around the house, telling you how to work out. It's good e to get it in. Dosage. Everybody wants a BJ around the house. Okay, <laughs> listen and shut up, everyone. <laughs> while Matt, while dear leader speaks, your supreme leader. Um, <laughs> I showed you how, with knowledge of training, I can make all the same moves feel like they were brand fucking new, okay? This was a master class. If you're a trainer, a pro, um, I hate to tell you, you're learning from one of the best to ever do it. Look back at these workouts. Understand the method behind the madness. And also, it's your responsibility to educate your fucking clients. I'm not doing the latest flutter kick you see on Instagram, but taking movements that are tried, proven, and true, milking them for everything they're worth, and getting a little bit better at them every single time and knowing how to tweak other variables. Because the last variable you need to tweak is your exercise. Everything else, work to rest, tempo, range of motion, okay? Exercise order. So many fun variables, training tool, okay? So um, congratulations, we have two more months left. Now we're going to the semifinals next month. November, three workouts. I've got some really fun ones coming, some uh, 
Some are a little experimental, but uh, I've done them before. I just never done them in, in follow-along format, so we'll see how they go, but they're going to be fun. You've earned the right. December is 10-minute tortures. I'm putting together my uh, a, a, a collection of 10 to 12, my best 10-minute workouts, and we're mixing between them uh, over the course of a single workout. It won't be two hours, though. It'll, be, it'll still be about an hour, okay? <laughs> and we'll have two weeks in December, then we finish off 2020. Comments, post worker reports at thedailybj.com. Keep working the shin box. Um, please, this is your last chance to get Naomi's book, The Smile and Other Stories, before I come to your house and kill you. <laughs> Support my wife. It's a great story, and thanks, Naomi, for giving us that reading on uh, TV. Uh, it was great. I enjoyed it. You're welcome. Good stories, scary stories, Halloween edition. Hey, Chris, give us a little zoom in on... on on the dick I, I feel like they can't see though. Let's go, let's go step by step now. We'll take us through quick to finish off. Oh, I'm giving them a tour. There's a really creepy, you may think that is a female, but that is a creepy man ghost on the left. With long testicle hair on his head? <laughs> yes. Um, the RIP tombstone, we got two of those. One's got a spider, we got a snake. We have a hand. That chop uh, shop hand, I think, Yeah, we're going to have for dinner deal. tonight. Uh, the snake and a raven and or crow. I can never really tell those apart. Yeah. And a little happy Halloween. Oh, Bird, pray, pray dater. Yes. The best 250 I have ever spent. That thing was 250? 250 bucks. Woo! But Chris Warren can attest. Uh, you use it a lot. Pretty fucking authentic. Yeah, no, it's very, All right? it's very good. Um, also, last uh, today's the last mm -hmm. day for the uh, wife lover. Or husband tank or top. Or husband or anything lover. Yep. Sleeve sold separately dot com. Tank top. Link in show notes. And uh, midnight PST. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get, get the damn tank. It's the best tank in the game. People are talking about it. People are saying it's the best tank in the game. But seriously, we were getting comments no like that. No other tank is better than this tank. The reason it's been so well received by those that get it, we're using that fabric to make our mic drop sleeveless hoodie, which we hope is going to be coming soon. We're still working on that. Guys, great work. I'm proud of you. The season is almost done, but we got semifinals November, finals in December. Let's finish strong. Love you. Peace.